part of um, your whole book, you were probably looking at costing of rent in the rooms. Uh, just as a word of caution, in 2016, the Conservatives uh, raised the rates, and there was a couple of free organisations used it regularly to yeah. cancel the rent elsewhere because yes. they were cheaper. Yes. And in 2018, they increased it again, but it kept it to a minimum. Which, so is, people which still are the be, figures that I've got here. Yeah, yeah. because e even if you don't put an increase, if, 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 if you didn't put an increase through now, uh, when you look at the quarterly report, which is what we discussed earlier on, you're still making money, even after the costs of running it and repairs and stuff like that. Yeah, you say that, it's interesting you say that, because we don't, we will, but we don't in any way figure out how much it actually costs us to run a home. We put some numbers in, in blocks, for various things, and think, yeah, that's probably about right. It is not done on a really proper basis. It will be, because when we get the new software, well, got the new software, when we start coding things properly, we'll know. And I mean, without being funny, whether we buy 300 toilet rolls for here and five for, you know, another hall, or vice versa, we have no clue at the moment. Well, without Whatever. setting off the code, it's not like fault accounting. Yeah, like I said, we can you give me the October if you, if you give me the Q3 report, it'll tell me it'll tell me what the budget is on revenue in mm. on the different halls and what the actual is. Yeah. yeah. And the other but page it says this is what we budgeted for expenditure and this is where we're in at at the moment. Yeah. Mm. So you tell me that those figures are going to be wrong. No, I'm saying that they aren't detailed enough to analyze whether we're actually charging the right amount and whether one of the halls is too cheap, one of the halls is too dear. This is an attempt to take it forward, but we do need to do a really good a exercise to see how much it is costing them. So you need to do an activity-based costing rather at those levels, so you can actually uh, you can allocate the sort of yeah. role to that place. That's the bit that's not there. Yeah. I'm actually wary that people have been using the, the rooms for a long period of time, so look at this increase. increase. We'll find somewhere else cheaper, and then you lose all yeah. the revenue. Well, which is so you see it, so they have increased. Increases. They have increased very much. These figures are from 2012, some of them. Yeah. So uh, they've gone up to like 10% since 2012. I've actually got.